Jillian Jensen with pleasure. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Doing great. <laughs> excited that you are my first guest. I'm excited too. A whole new time slot. And yeah. You know, I mean, and, and with this album, kind of a whole new me too. So That's it's, right. It's, new, new. It's cool. New, new. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you know what? That that I think is the perfect place for us to start. Yeah. What is new in in your life? I know a lot of uh, folks have read about you, uh, have seen you, uh, and tell us what what is happening new in your life. Well, you know, I I did do X Factor about two gosh two years ago now. It's so weird to even think that's been that long. But um, yeah, it's going on two years since I did X Factor, and this year, this past year, you know, Idol came around to Boston, and you, my mom had told me, oh, you should go, you should go, you always said, like, since you were a kid, since the show started, that you wanted to be the next American, like, you know, that was, yeah. that was like my childhood dream, and, and, and I never thought that I would ever see myself doing another TV show, and the idea kind of made me want to kind of made me sick thinking that I would put myself out there again but um because you, it takes a lot of energy doesn't well, it, it does it takes a lot of you know emotional energy of and course it physical does. energy and it's it's very time consuming and stressful and yeah. I was I was scared to do it but you know I, something in my gut told me that I had to for myself because you know on X Factor it was such a it was such a great opportunity but I feel like they really focused on my life versus my music yeah, and yeah. and I mean that was great I've had such a such a great opportunity to go into schools and work as a motivational speaker and just telling kids that you know turning every negative into a positive is such an important thing in life and that's what music has done for me so you know, I had that experience, but, you know, I, I needed to take the time to do something for myself as a musician. Um, and I don't mean that in a selfish way. I just mean, like, you know, I wanted to say, this is my music. This is this is who I am, um, not my past. Yes. So, um, you know, I went on Idol, and that was such a great experience. And I met such beautiful people. And um, it was just, it was so much fun. But, you know, my time came to an end on the show, and that was fine. I did what I had to do for yep. myself and now I'm focusing on creating an album and you know I did do like an EP when I was like 14 and not an album when I was like 16 but I don't really consider I, f I feel like those are my growing periods sure, sure. those were and I, they were experimental you know and needed though right exactly to figure out who I am absolutely and um so now that I really like discovered myself and discovered my sound and like what style I want to do, I want to do my quote unquote debut album. Yeah. And I, I need the help with that, you know, funding wise, because I don't think people realize how much money actually goes into those things. And I mean, I'm 21. I have my bills. I, yeah. you know, I, I'm a busy, busy girl, but I am saving aside my own money as well for it. But I have what's called a Kickstarter. Okay. Um, I launched it on Friday. And um, my goal on Kickstarter is about $15,000. So what happens is people will donate, but they'll get prizes in return. So that's what's yeah. fun. Yeah. So it's like, you donate this much money, you get a prize in return. We'll, we'll cool. talk about that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, folks, uh, if you want to go to Kickstarter right now and uh, donate anywhere, five bucks, ten, yeah. a hundred, uh, a thousand. I'm going to, uh, to ask you about the $5,000 donation. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> folks, you're going to love this if you donate five thousand you'll never believe what you're going to get in return but uh, in the meanwhile where do folks go for kickstarter well if you go if you just go to kickstarter.com and search jillian jensen mm -hmm. um my kickstarter will come up and the title i believe was help me make my album how about if we do this we're going to post it on wbsm.com and we will make all the arrangements thank you to uh have that uh, limousine of the internet take you <laughs> right there to uh, Jillian Marie Jensen's site where you can help her make her third album, really a debut album, a reality. And this fall, we're going to hopefully hear a lot of the beautiful final product, right? Yeah. And so um, currently you're in the process of completing this album, right? No, I actually, I because of recording costs, I'm not able to start it until I have the funds. Gotcha. You know, I mean, all the songs are written in yep. um pre-production is i'm i mean charted out but you know i can't record until august okay. just because that's when i'll have hopefully have the fun <laughs> jillian is going to be recording in new york city folks it costs money 
great studio, I hear. Yes, it's beautiful. Um, I'm actually really excited to work with the people because when I, my friend actually helped build the studio from yeah. the ground up. Wow. And he, when I was talking about doing an album, he was like, you have to come here and at least talk to the guys. And, you know, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an open-minded girl. Sure. I, you know, I, I, and so I went there and I was talking to the, the owner of the studio and, um, he's like the main engineer there and we were just chit chatting about it. And I just, I've, I've never connected with someone on, you know what I mean? Who just understood what I wanted and understood where I was going with something. And just, you know, we just clicked really yeah. well. And the whole, the whole team is so great. And I'm just excited because we're going to be doing some like behind the scenes video and oh, professional awesome. video and a couple like a music video and whatnot. So you'll see, it's fun. It's going to be great. Now uh, explain to the folks, Jillian, what they get in return for, let's say um, um, a $25 uh, donation. Well, let me pull this up yes, because indeed. To be honest, I... And I wh- start there because I want the $5,000 well, donation <laughs> to, to be a plum. Oh, folks, wait until you hear. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy, but I promise it's it's going to be kind of cool. Um, so, okay, so there's stuff as simple as like $5 where you'll just get... There's a single that'll be coming out in July. Okay. So you'll get early access to that before anyone else. Good. And then, you know, $10 you'll get. It's basically like you're pre-ordering the album. $25, um, I have some bracelets that sponsor my anti-bullying program called oh, Stop awesome. Hate Start Love. Yeah. So you'll get one of those bracelets as well as an autograph photo yeah. and um, once again a free download of the album. Basically for $10 or more with every prize you'll get the album. Awesome. That's, so it's cool. It's just, Like I said, it's like you're pre-ordering the album. Yep. Um, and then there's things such as like $250, you can get a Skype date with me. Yeah. Not, not, not a personal date because I can't really travel all over all over the U.S. to do that. A but Skype date. A Skype date. So it's like we're doing a little webcam date. That you know? is awesome. <laughs> it'll be cute. We'll have fun. I'll bring I'll bring the candles and the dinner. And it'll be great. And, and then there was, um, you know, for $1,000, um, you could come spend a day in the studio with me and be like a part of everything, which is kind of cool. And... Um, yeah, then there's other crazy things like the 5000 How about the 5000 <laughs> Now, uh, folks, if you would like to donate $5,000, what will that person <laughs> get in return? Well, okay, so there's a bunch of things. You know, you'll be able to get a personalized, like, letter from me thanking you and a Skype call as well thanking you for your donation. A special, th- um, your name and the thank yous as well as the download, but... The, the crazy thing that you'll be getting is I am getting actually, um, I have many tattoos, but I'm getting a tattoo kind of in memorial of this album because I don't think people realize how much this album actually does mean to me. Mm-hmm. And if you donate $5,000, your name will be in the more, the like kind of tattoo memorial on my Outstanding. body. So you'll be with me forever. Outstanding. Can <laughs> you imagine is- your name tattooed to... <laughs> Jillian's body for the rest of her life? Well, you know something? There were, and one of my friends actually told me it was crazy of me, but you know something? <laughs> I just, I, I think it for someone to donate that much to even like be that big of an aspect of making right. this a possibility, right. I would be honored to have that person's name as a part of my. My yeah. memorial for my album. And so. folks, you can uh, go to WBSM.com very shortly. We'll have it posted, and uh, we'll give you all the uh, information you need to uh, get your donation to uh, Jill. We want you to support this because it's very, very important that not only we uh, truly uh, em- embrace our local star, but also have her realize her next step. And uh, has life gone by quickly since your national appearances. Yeah, yeah no, life's been kind of crazy. I don't know. It's been kind of crazy. It's like, you, it's it's one of those things where some days when you have like a day off, you just sit back and you're like, wow, this is so, so insane, you know? Yeah. Um, to think that, and you know, a lot of it is work that I don't get paid for. They're just great opportunities. Sure. So then I also have to have my like bar gigs on the side to pay my bills. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like I'm always going 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 but it's it's so enjoyable to just know that I'm 21 years old and I provide for myself and I'm living a life that you know I want to live that I enjoy living and you know the importance of this album for me is that 
music has been so therapeutic throughout my life. My mom always taught me that, you know, going into nursing homes and singing for elderly, that's therapeutic for them because yep. music helps them. But music has gotten me through every up, down aspect of my life that making this album and doing it is such a personal you know, goal for me and emotional, mental <laughs> yeah. goal for me. And Jill, you have such a personal connection, especially when you go into schools. You talk about the bullying program that uh, actually, you know, you talk about uh, how the shows embraced your life. Well, that right. was one of the, the benefits of right. getting your word out there. Right. Well, you know, I, I, mm-hmm. I did want to be able to talk a little bit about that and you know i didn't want to be my whole premise but i i did want to talk about that and even when i go into schools like i mean it's it is an anti-bullying assembly but i focus it more on overall like life in itself you know it's not just this is what i've been through no it's about okay well everyone has different struggles in their life sure you know hardship with finances and um you know some kids have divorced parents some kids are bullied so every kid has Something, Something, you know, I think everyone has a story Mm -hmm. and the importance for me going into schools, I think, is just to tell them, find whatever it is that you care most about. For me, it's music, some people sports, you know, uh, academics, whatever, and put all your focus and energy into that. That way you can become the best version of yourself that you want to be. And hopefully that'll take you away from any negative in your life and just Wow. Live a positive lifestyle. You know? Wow. Uh, the songs in your new upcoming uh, album that hopefully, folks, you're going to donate right now to uh, Original. Uh, are they, are they uh, Jillian's posing for the cameras here? <laughs> that, <laughs> Sorry. That's a great one. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Sorry. <laughs> that was a great pose. My ADD. I can't handle it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, did you write the songs, or are they original? Oh yes, or? they're all the songs. <laughs> all the songs are original, and you know, I really wanted this album to focus, like I said, on my life in the past, like five or six years. And you know, even in that time frame, I've been through so much random stuff. Yeah. But I feel like stuff that a lot of people can relate to. And I'm just trying to find the the set on my phone right now. But um, yeah, all the songs are original, and it's cool because it's like a. Uh, country blues rock nice kind of yeah so uh because that's you know that's that was my roots i grew up listening to a lot of johnny cash james taylor alanis morissette as well as jazz i listened to a lot of jazz so i feel like that kind of has now overcome who i am (laughs) and so you know a lot of the album is it'll it starts out with a song that just kind of says you know, sometimes there's some people in your life that you know aren't good for you, but you still let into your life anyway. Yeah. And then you just you're like, you know something? I'm moving on. Yeah. Peace out. I'm better. Than this, you know. <laughs> and and then from there, it it goes to just kind of some self recognition. Um, there's a song called morning thoughts that I wrote I woke up at 9 o'clock in the morning and for some reason my mind was just going a mile a minute and I started writing down all of these like I guess like poetry poetic thought I don't know yeah. and I just turned it into a song and it's it's kind of a little bit more at random just talking about how sometimes just sitting by yourself and escaping reality is better than living in the world that we're in because you know society sometimes disappoints me um, you know, between people sitting behind their computer and spending more time trying to rip others down behind the screen than living their own life. And, right. and, and that's what I, and I talk about that in the second verse. And then also I talk about, you know, um, I love the bridge, the bridge. I, I, I kind of. I was scared about singing because it's tongue twistery, but it says, um, it's funny because in these thoughts, I think I know I'm not alone. I think there's people with these thoughts, I think, just searching for a home. And if I'm right, I find comfort knowing I'm not the only one. And in feeling this way, I'm not alone, just part of a grander sum. And I think, you know, those lines mean so much to me because there's so many kids and so many well, of all ages that will have these thoughts that they feel about, you know, the government or society or how people treat each other or life in itself just right. as a general whole, but they don't express them to each other. Yes. So they always feel like they're alone. Yep. But it, but if they just talked about how they felt more often and were just open more, then I feel like they'd realize that 
there's there's so many more that feel the way they do so that's what the bridge is about and you know i feel like all the songs are just songs that everyone can relate to at one point or another in their life and i'm just i'm really excited i just really want this album oh, we're to happen. excited for you jillian jensen folks is sharing her life her music in her third album and we need your help kickstarter you have what how many days i have left i believe i have 56 days left to okay. raise the money um and i'm at i'm at nine thousand right now okay um however if i don't make my goal of 15 then i won't get the money like it'll just never like it'll just pretend like it never happened it'll stay there and help others no it just goes right back to the people oh i got gotcha. i wish i wish it went to something else but yeah. but um, oh you're gonna make it i hope so oh, i actually because yeah. i actually need much more than that which makes me want to be so yes <laughs> well you, you'll get much more than that i and and folks once we reach the goal keep you know this it doesn't mean you can stop it means you can you, keep going keep going god keep going and each just time, like you thank you and each time you know each time you donate like it adds up automatically on your account so it's like I know there's some people that are like, oh, well, I'll donate a little bit each week. And it adds up automatically on the site for you. So, awesome. like, you can build up your prize stuff. So. Awesome. Not only do we love you and applaud you. Oh, Jillian, <laughs> we are so proud of your accomplishments. Thank you. Thank you for making this area so very, very proud of you. You're, you you're so, so deserving, darling. Thank you. So very, very deserving. You're always in our hearts. And always, always, we're rooting for you, Jill. <laughs> Thank you so much. Much, and uh, folks, you can go to WBSM.com and we'll give you all the instructions on how we can make this a reality for Jill. Like many of you listeners right now who love Jill, let's get her to her next plateau in life on this wonderful journey <laughs> that is just beginning for our superstar, Jillian Jensen. Thank you so much, Phil. Love you so much. I love you too.